everybody, it's Ashley from Ashley's Green Life, and today's green tip is how I organize my papers. So I've had several of you ask just how I organize my papers. You've seen in my other videos, like how I do the KonMari method of Marie Kondo, um, and I've in the past I used to use these binders, um, but just to give you an update, it wasn't working for me. So I wanted to share how I've kind of changed that and how I'm using it now, and it's making a world of difference in keeping track of the papers and keeping clutter to a minimum in my home. So like I said before, I used to use binders. I love these colorful binders that I found at Staples. And I had each of them labeled with the category. So like cars or healthcare or bank accounts. And from there, within those, I would always have it say um, what, uh, I would have little clear plastic page protectors um, would have it subdivided. So it would might say like Brandon's healthcare or the girl's insurance or receipts or something. Um, which is great and it works out great if you're like an organizer type person but if you um, when it comes to the filing of all that I just didn't have the time so <laughs> it sounded great in theory it was a great idea but the real reality of it um, with my time and busy schedule it just wasn't happening so I have a basket um, of, I have a shelf of trays underneath those binders that say uh, things to pay and then one was called things to file and as you can see the things to file basket was always always overflowing so um trying to find a way to keep that down i kind of try to make it on my checklist of once a week i have to file all this stuff um and i've learned kind of just like marie kondo mentioned in the book that you have to have it be something quick and easy um right away when you're doing the mail you just file it right then and there um and so i knew i needed to make that an easier process so my big idea was basically to change out the binders and all the little things in between and switch that to just using a magazine holder or a paper holder type thing. So that's probably a non-technical name. So basically what I used um, in another previous uh, video, in the Marie Kondo videos, I used these Ikea, they were called Flit, or I'm probably saying it wrong, Swedish people, uh, which I am sort of Swedish. <laughs> it's in my mom's side of the family, but um, I call them Flit. I'm sure there's a proper way. Uh, to say it were basically these cardboard magazine holder kind of file things and so I used those and just had those for uh, memory objects pictures mementos I had those organized by that and I was like wait a minute if I just changed up my categories and put those in that um, in those holders um, and do away with the subfolders because you're just gonna look through it anyways to find what you want then maybe that could be a quicker way of filing so what I had to do to get to that point was to basically take everything out of all the binders and kind of put it in piles. So here I am deconstructing my organized, sort of organized area. Um, and so what I did is I had a yellow, that's my yellow recycling bin. I wish it was green. <laughs> I had my yellow recycling bin on the ground to throw things away because this is a great time to just kind of clear through some of the clutter. And I also had my little black box there is for shredding things. So I filled that up pretty quick. Um, and so I just went through each category and I wondered if I could reduce some of the categories. So you can see I have some temporary labels on the little Ikea folders um, as to maybe I could group these together and maybe that goes better together than the way it was. Um, and then just going through some of it, I was able to see that there was so much I still didn't need even after I thought I decluttered it already. <laughs> um, and so that was basically the process I went through to have it ready to be reorganized. Um, before I did that, I ended up going to Ikea to get some more of the magazine holders and they were all out. Unfortunately, they didn't have the ones I used before, the flit ones, so I ended up getting these. They're different. They're called Fluns. I'm gonna guess that's how you say it. F-L-U-N-S is how they're the name. Fluns, Fluens, however you like to say it. Either way, they are fabulous little magazine holders. They are made from um, recycled corrugated cardboard and they just pop out. You just pop them out um, and then you have your instant little magazine holder. Um, so I love that they're super kind of green in that aspect and also you can recycle them and the best part is you get four of them for 99 cents. So some plastic magazine holders are like $10 a piece or something. So the fact that I can get all the ones that I need for my cabinet is just great. So um, I ended up getting a bunch of those, two pack. I ended up getting two packs of those and I used seven for my cabinet. So the problem is I had adjusted them and combined some of the binders together because I only had the bigger type style of binders and then I realized wait these are smaller so I did a little reorganizing but I figured I'd give you guys the most recent um, type of Ikea products so if you wanted to recreate this in your home you could use that instead of trying to track down the old bigger magazine holders so long story short this is what I ended up using 
here's what, how I popped them out and got them all set up to go in my cabinet. Um, and so from there, I went about creating the new labels. So I went, I basically just print those off on my computer. I decide on the categories that work for me and print those off on white paper. And then I just cut that out and then mount that onto black construction paper or black cardstock paper. Um, so it's a little bit thicker. Then I use packaging tape to tape that onto the magazine holder, little storage divider there. And so you can see I try to line those up all nice and straight. And then from there, I have all my categories. So I have those and then I updated the baskets below and I took out the one label that said things to be filed because that was the point. I was not going to allow myself to file anything there. If it was going to be filed, it's going to be filed right away. And so I changed the name of that one to now needs action, which to me is kind of like it needs to be paid or I need to check on it right away. And I just kind of need to know in my mind, check that basket more frequently. And then the next basket says coupons and checkbooks. So I didn't have one for this before and I found that it's really helpful because I always end up finding coupons for places and never having a place to put them. You don't want to file it away and something and lose track of it, but I don't want it cluttering up my counter. So I have a little place there for coupons. I still have a hard time sort of remembering it, but I try to check that often. And I put checkbooks there that basically is just, we have other accounts or savings accounts and other things, our own personal accounts. And you have those like extra check checkbooks. And so I didn't have a place really to keep those. So for now they're in there with the coupons. And then my last category there is some office supplies. So things like envelopes, stamps, and I have a little personalized um, stamper with our last name and address on it um, that I keep in there too. So it's ready. Um, and in case you're wondering what's on the top shelf, that's where we put all of our receipts. Uh, things, you know, I try to save those for a while in case we have to return anything. It's easy. We just know we put it right in the receipt box. And then all my pay stubs are electronic, but my husband's are still paper copies. So to save his in case for some reason we need them, they go in his little pay stub thing. And up there I also keep my stapler. Kind of helps keep the two boxes centered. So that is how it looks now um, once it's been organized and it has the labels and I'm going to break it down just the different categories I have in case you're wondering. So the first little category I have there is for cars and auto insurance. Which sounds like the same type of thing, but I needed it to be a longer name to fit on the tag. Um, so basically anything to do with car payments and such and car insurance. The next category is for the girls. So that would be things for their school. Any other documents that pertain to them um, paperwork wise, if it's like artwork or something that they've done, I'm not putting that there. I have a special thing in their room like you've seen here where I kind of file some of their things, um, special memory things, mementos, they go in their room in their closet in a special divider. Um, you can check my KonMari Kid video there for that one. Um, and so that's where that stuff goes. Um, the next category, the next category is for me for my school and blog. So things pertaining to my my teaching job as well as my blog here and YouTube channel. I file those there. The next category is healthcare and dogs. It's kind of a funny one, uh, but anything to do with our health insurance, uh, the health savings plan stuff, you know, where you save your receipts on health expenses. Um, and then I had just random stuff for my dogs that I didn't know where else to put it. So usually it's healthcare related. They're, papers and all that fun stuff and it all just kind of goes in with that. All right so the next category is home bills and insurance. Super fun. Um, basically any type of utility bill, um, trash bill, diapering bill, all that stuff and then home insurance is obviously what it says. Uh, the next category is for bank and retirement accounts. So all those fun accounts of bank accounts, uh, savings accounts, retirement, I have school retirement and my husband has his work retirement a place where we can put all those lovely money documents. And then the last category is warranties. So I love the idea um, in moving to doing all of these different um, magazine holders instead of the binders and that is just that the first part that I love about it is this that it's easier to put things away. So here I am, I got my mail from the day and all I have to do is just file it to the place it goes and it's done. Um, I try not to have it stay on the counter um, and if I see it it's almost like I've got like a bullseye for it. I'm just like ah it's got to be filed. Um, and it's to know that it's so much easier instead of having to take out the notebook and find the little page protector that says the thing and then file it in there really helps save so much time. And then it's also helpful because um, Marie Kondo mentions this in her book of how when you're flipping through the papers of the little categories you do have that are easy to access, um, 
you are reminded of what you see. Um, and so instead of having everything be in a separate thing, I can see it all all at once when I'm looking through, say, the warranties. I was just looking at our Roomba stuff working. Um, and so in order to get to the Roomba little warranty thing or the instruction book, I had to flip through all of them. And I was like, wait a minute, why do we even have this warranty? I don't even have that anymore. So it's a way of kind of keeping fresh with your documents. Um, if you have to take everything out of that um, magazine holder, the little storage folder there, um, you just know what you have. So long story short, that is how I like to organize my papers and those are the little categories I have. So if you have any special method that you like to do for organizing your papers, you can share that below. Or if you see any tips or tricks that you want to try with your papers, you can share that below too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time for the next screen tip. Bye.